Hi, ich bin Frieda von den Jung Festival Bloggern und hier bin ich mit Andreas Köfig, dem Regisseur von dem Film The Fall. Good afternoon. Um, I have a few questions for you. And the first one would be, uh, you already told us in, before the film how you came up with the idea, how you met the girl and everything, but could you tell it again for the people who will see the video after that? Yeah. I was, uh, it was seven years ago, I was filming some, uh, some soldiers uh, who had been wounded in the war. Um, some had lost uh, an arm and others had lost their leg. And they were doing rehabilitation in this place. Um, and then I saw this girl, 11-year-old girl, uh, who was there as well. And I was told that uh, she had been sleepwalking um, in the middle of the night and she had dreamt that her little sister had thrown her hat out of the window. So in the middle of the night she would open the window and jump out to get the hat. And then she fell down from the fifth floor, uh, down on, on concrete. And miraculously she survived. Um, and when I heard that story I got um, very intrigued and I wanted to know more about about her um, and I asked her if I could make a film about her story and to begin with she felt that it was too close um, it was only three four months after the accident but then three months later she she came back to me and she she told me that now she wanted to do the film if I was still interested and then I started filming her and and kept filming uh, on and off for about five years. Do you have a scene in the film you like the most? Or do you remember shooting a scene you really like to do it? Yeah, I think the scene that I like the most in the film is um, the scene where she visits her friend in the, the Royal Ballet School. And, and uh, he, he starts dancing, uh, he starts interpreting her accident by dancing uh, and they collaborate on it together on making the choreography uh, and I think that's, that's a beautiful moment that they create together. Um, you have two films this year in the Nordic Film Festival. Uh, could you tell us something about this film, what is it about? It's about music and about our relation to music. Uh, I have filmed that over many years as well. It's about a Danish uh, guitar player who's, who has become very famous for his music. And he's a good friend of mine. And I, I filmed him uh, over 14 years when he was collaborating with different other musicians. And so then he would call me and ask me, oh, I'm doing this concert, do you want to film it? Or I'm doing this recording. And, and he has played with so many legends. Uh, some of them have passed away. Um, and, and the film kind of collects a lot of fantastic musicians and uh, where we both see them play and how they create, but we also hear them uh, when they reflect on, on, on music. And some of them can't really explain what they are doing. They, are, they just get totally uh, s silent when they get a question about music because normally they, they just play without thinking too much. Um, do you have an emotionally, uh, are you emotionally affected to your films on your own, like somehow? Yes, I think I, I only make films that I I am emotionally connected to. I think when I have to find a story, it, I, I go for the, the story that, that moves me the most or a person that moves me a lot. So, so I think that's, that's my main criteria for choosing a story. Um, also because you have, to, you have to live with a story for so long when you are making films. So you, you need to be connected to it. If not, it, it's, it's just going to be a piece of uh, journalism for, yeah. So, so I think that's, that's like a rule number one for me, is to be emotionally attached. Um, was it always your dream to become a director or uh, not? And um, 
Yeah. Uh, did you want to be? Why did you want to be a director for documentary films? When I was a, a kid or teenager, I didn't I didn't know what to become, and I never thought about becoming a film director. I I loved films, but I I never saw myself as the creator of a film. But then when I when I turned 20, I got a I met through some friends I met with some people who were who were doing uh, uh, youth uh, television t television for young people and and I started filming and I started editing and I started doing small portraits of my friends and I found out that I really liked all the different disciplines within filmmaking and I loved to create atmospheres and feelings and I loved adding music to the images and there were so many things where I, I felt that I could create something that was completely my own, but at the same time, while I was exploring something that fascinated me, a person or a theme. So, in a way, I, I also dreamt about becoming a doctor and many other things, but I, I could never really decide for it. And in a way, by choosing documentary films, I kept all doors open because I can make a film about anything in the world that interests me if I if I choose to do so. So so yeah, in that way I I I feel very privileged that it's it's possible to to explore so many things and and go go to places where you can never go without having a project. Um, do you have a documentary project which you are like dreaming to do in the future about? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. I have I have a few, but uh, I'm not I'm not sure if they are possible. There's there's one place. It's in uh, eastern Russia, where sometimes it, it's it's close to a space station where they they set up a lot of satellites, and sometimes because there are so few people living there, they also let parts of the satellites fall. And some people there, they live from collecting the garbage from the, the satellites, the metal. And, and I once did a, a short film based on uh, still photos from that place by a Norwegian uh, photographer. And I always felt that I, I should make a film about a boy who lived in a place like that where suddenly a spaceship falls on his, uh, in front of his house. So maybe one day if I can go to Russia ever, I don't know, I, I will try to do that. Uh, thank you for your time and have a good day. You too, thanks.